first of all, I'm just going to show you basic AMA. Like here are some uh, just DV25 clips on a stick straight from a camera. So basically, I just plug that into the computer and I'm not touching anything. A bin pops up and it auto populates all those clips. And I can play those clips straight away. Now in this project, I also have some AMA clips that are taken from Red Epic, which is 5K. And this timeline is not even the, in the correct format of any of those clips. But the timeline now is at uh, 1080, 25p. And so the first clip is DV25. The second clip is in uh, 2398 frames per second. And even though it's DV and <clears throat> 5K mixed together, I can just play it back. We are uh, trying out AVC HD as an AMA plugging. So we've tried both um, like a consumer level, a very low uh, quality handheld cameras and the higher end AVC HD formats. And uh, so that's, uh, that's what we're working on. So I'll go into uh, color correction mode. And uh, before I was only able to use one parameter at a time in color correction. Now we're trying, we developed the software so that we can use more parameters. And uh, so now I can easily just go in, do some changes to this. I can also I have the color controls on the balls. And if I don't like to work in this mode, I can quickly go over to working in curves if that's my preference. Now that I have full control, I'm not even looking down. I'm just looking at the window because uh, I know where the controls are and I can really quickly get that look that I'm after. All the uh, soft keys on this control are going to be programmable so that uh, if you have your preference, uh, little uh, features that you need access to quickly, then that's up to you. So this is uh, the stereoscopic 3D that our lab's been uh, poking around with. So the whole idea is that from start to finish, you should be able to use MIDI Composer to get your 3D project done. The feature Mix and Match also works in 3D stereoscopic. So if you have uh, clips in 3D stereoscopic that are from in a different frame rate, it works just as good in uh, 3D. I can go into a stereo color correction mode. So here I have, in the middle, I have my output, which is the two images and on the left and the right eye, so I can color correct one or both so they eventually match. We've developed a couple of tools that are specially made for stereoscopic 3D. For example, if I want to change the, uh, the depth of my image, basically I can just move it around. Now we see the two images and we can see the difference where I move them around fairly easily. Let's say they've shot it incorrectly where you have um, maybe one, one camera's off on the actual stand of the two cameras, then I can go in and uh, move that around. So I have uh, the XYZ parameters, so I can move the image around, so I get it aligned perfectly where I need it. We can also add titles, and when you add titles in a 3D project, they become stereoscopic. And you can also move the titles in the depth space.